Hi friends. So uh, when it comes to chemistry, we all know how important an equation is. Now, when I say equation, there are so many students who actually get scared of it. There are only two categories of students. One category of them may not even know how to frame an equation. Now, for that, the only way is to learn the logic behind the equation. But I am talking about the major category of students who will be able to write an equation, but they don't. They do not know how to balance it. Now, if you think that if I write the equation correctly and if I'm even not able to balance the equation, I'll still be able to get marks. It's not correct. Okay, so without taking the correct volumes of the respective reactants, we cannot expect the products to be formed. That is why a, a, an equation which is not balanced correctly will not carry any marks. Okay. Now, why is an equation, why do we struggle so much to balance some particular equations? Why does it sound so difficult? I'll reveal this fact after explaining an example to you. Okay, now let me take an equation. Now, this is butane for people who didn't know. I'm talking about the combustion of butane. Now, if you try to balance this equation, most of the students take a very, very, very long time. Now, I'll just try to do something now. I'm not trying to explain. I'll just try to do something now. You can check how long I take to balance the equation. Okay, so. You can check any number of times the equation has got balanced. I'm sure you didn't understand what I did, but I took, I think less than 10 seconds to balance, right? Now, let me reveal the fact why this kind of an equation becomes tough for a student to balance. The main and the only important fact behind this is the presence of such a big odd number here. You can see an odd number present here, a big odd number, and that is the one which is making it difficult for any student to get the correct balancing numbers. So today we are going to actually learn a very, very, very easy and a very interesting trick how to balance such equations and especially equations which have these odd numbers in it. Okay, so are you ready for it? Let's start. I'll explain the same equation and I'll tell you what I actually did. Look, to apply this trick, okay, the first important condition is there should be an element which is not combined with any, I call it as an individual element. So there should be some element which is not in combination with any other element. For example, oxygen, the presence of oxygen in this equation. Okay, now cover that element, okay, cover that element and balance everything else. Now carbon, I can see a 4 here. So I blindly write a 4 here. That's what you would have seen me doing before also. Okay, now hydrogen is 10. So what into 2 is 10? So we all know 5 into 2 is 10. So now carbon and hydrogen have got balanced. The only element which is not balanced is oxygen. Okay. Now I count for oxygen. 4 twos are 8 plus 5 into 1. Remember it's not 1. It's 5 into 1. So 8 plus 5 is 13. Yes. What number into 2 will give me 13? What number into 2 will give me 13? Don't you think it's 13 by 2? 13 by 2 into 2 will give me 13. Yes. Now 13 by 2, if I write, it's not acceptable. We do not write fractions for balancing, right? So what I do is, I know it is 13 by 2. But to remove this denominator, I multiply the whole equation with whatever is present in the denominator. That means... I do not write the denominator here. I keep that denominator in my mind and balance the remaining elements with that number. 2 here, do not do anything here. 4 twos are 8, 5 twos are 10. And the equation has got balanced. Okay, it will get clear when I explain the second example. Okay, I'll explain one more example. Please concentrate here. Okay, before I go to the second example, let me repeat what I did here. Please concentrate. Please concentrate. So carbon has to get balanced first. So put a 4 here. Hydrogen has to get balanced next. So 5 twos are 10. Yes. Now count for oxygen. 4 twos are 8 plus 5. 13. So what number written here multiplied by 2 gives you 13? 13 by 2. 
I do not write the by 2, but I keep it in my mind. Now, what do I do with the by 2? I multiply all the other compounds or elements. Yes. Okay. So 2 here. So 2 into 4 becomes 8 and 5 into 2 becomes 10. The equation has got balanced. That is the trick. Okay. I'll explain one more example. Please concentrate here. Let's say FES2 plus O2 Fe2O3 plus SO2. Yes. Now what's the trick? Forget about the individual element and balance everything else. We can see iron. Yes, Fe. There is a 2 here. So I need to write a 2 here so that iron gets balanced. Now 2 into 2. Sulfur became 4. 2 into 2. So blindly put a 4 here. Sulfur got balanced. Now the only thing that remains is oxygen. So 3 plus 4 twos are 8. 4 twos are 8 plus 3 is 8 plus 3 is 11. Correct? Okay. So what into 2 will give me 11? We all know it is 11 by 2. I write the 11 here. I keep the by 2 in my mind. What do I do with the by 2? Cover this and multiply everywhere else. So there's already a 2 here. If I multiply 2 with this, it becomes 4. There's nothing here. So if I multiply 2, I just write a 2 here. There is 4 here. So 4 into 2 becomes 8. You can check. It is completely balanced. So you can see the presence of an odd number here, which actually made it difficult to balance this equation. But if you're using this trick, and if you try to practice it on a regular basis, you will love balancing equations. I hope this helped you. I'll, I'll meet you in another video. Thank you.